Hi, uh, today we will uh, discuss on uh, another problem that is uh, we need to determine the area of reinforcement required for singly reinforced beam having width of 300 mm and effective depth 600 mm to resist a factored moment of 200 kN meter. Adopt Fe415 and M20 grid concrete. Okay, here in the present problem, okay, earlier uh, we used to get the AST value. Okay, whereas people have calculated 200 kilo Newton meter. Okay, uh, whatever discussion we have done uh, earlier uh, or in my previous videos, okay, we have calculated, people have calculated the value of MU. Okay, whereas here MU is given and AST is not given here. Okay, so we need to find out AST. Okay, he has directly mentioned a singly reinforced beam. Still, we need to check okay, uh, whether it is singly or doubly. Okay. So here uh, for uh, balanced section, we need to assume this as a, okay, if it is directly given singly, you need to assume it as a balanced section. Then only you can able to find out uh, this one, the area of reinforcement, okay. As uh, our culture is there, so we need to write uh, the given data first, that is breadth of beam 300 mm, depth of beam, effective depth, he has directly mentioned effective depth of beam, that is 600 mm, FCK 20 Newton per mm square. F5415 MU 200 kN meter. Okay, so these are the given data. Now, what I will do? Okay, I will treat it as MU is equal to MU limit. Okay, before that, I need to compare. Okay, uh, our intention is to make MU is equal to MU limit, right? Always we try to make it as a balanced section, but we will check with this. Okay, so MU is equal to 200 kilo Newton meter is there and we need to find out limiting moment that is based on the dimensions. Limiting moment is mainly based on the dimensions of the beam. Okay. So here it is we know 0.138 FCK. Okay. 0.138 we have taken because of we are using Fe415 steel. Okay. Uh, already in previous uh, discussion we have done. Okay. So we have this table for Fe415. Okay. MU limit value is 0.138 FCK. BD square. Here that's why what I will do. I will be writing 0 0.138 FCK BD square. Okay, So it will be how much 0 0.138 FCK is grid of concrete that is 20. B is 300. Here we have written B is 300, uh, 300 and small d is 600. I will be writing this one here. Okay, 0 0.138 FCK is 20 into 300 into 600. Okay, 600 square. So we got 298.08 kilo newton actually you should it should be kilo newton meter okay so 298.08 kilo newton meter and mu is only how much it is 200 kilo newton meter here mu less than mu limits so the section is under reinforced section okay already we have discussed on this okay xu less than xu limit or mu less than mu limit is treated as under reinforced beam so now for under reinforced, okay, which uh, expression it will be used if value of x u by d is less than limiting moment. That means x u by d is less than x u max by d, okay, or m u is less than m u max or m u limit. Okay, in that case, calculate the moment of resistance by the following expression. That is m u is equal to 0 0.87 f y a s t d into bracket 1 minus a s t f y divided by f c k b d. This is the this equation to be used okay whereas here in this problem we are not able to find out xu because ast is not given okay here we have ast unknown value ast is not given so i, I am not able to judge uh, the under reinforced balanced or over reinforced section based on based on the xu and xu max okay that's why we are comparing mu and mu limit okay so I'll be taking MU is equal to 0 0.81 FI ASTD into bracket 1 minus AST FI divided by FCK BD. Okay, this equation, whatever the equation is there, uh, equation is there in IS456 page number 96. Okay, it is there in page number 96, the same equation. So only it is applicable for under reinforced sections. Okay, so here it is 0 0.81 FI ASTD into bracket 1 minus AST FI by FCK BD. So here it is mu is a known value that is mu is equal to 200 kilonewton meter 
and f y is the known value d is the known value only the thing which is unknown is ast okay that's why what he said determine the area of reinforcement area of reinforcement is nothing but ast okay it is the steel bars in the beam okay that i need to find out how much steel bars are required to resist 200 kilo newton meter and the dimension of beam is this much for example in your home okay if you have a beam or if you are designing beam if you are constructing a home okay beam depths you are getting 300 by 600 and we, you are getting based on the load applied you are getting moment of 200 kilo newton meter in that case how many reinfo uh, how many bars need to be provided that we are calculating here okay how many steel bars are required to resist the applied moment okay here what happens so i'll be using this equation and i'll keeping it as ast as the unknown value okay that is mu is 200 kilo newton meter okay and here is remaining values are in newton and mm so you need to keep the moment is in newton and mm that is equal to 200 into 10 to the power of 6 newton mm okay 10 to the power of 6 you are converting kilo newton meter into newton mm so okay so uh, when you solve this one you will be getting ast of how much when you solve you will be getting a quadratic equation okay use uh, the quadratic equation and find out AST is equal to okay AST is equal to how much you got 1051.43 okay so here when you use this equation you will be getting a quadratic one okay so we have another simplification equation that is you you need to remember it is not there in a code okay it is not there in a code book okay so you need to remember that is AST is equal to 0 0.5 of CK divided by FY into bracket 1 minus root of 1 minus 4.6 MU divided by FCK BD square into BD when you substitute the remaining value, you know all these values FCK grid of concrete, FI grid of steel, MU moment, FCK grid of concrete again breadth is uh, uh, B is uh, breadth of beam, small d is effective depth of beam. So when you substitute all these values, again you will get the same value that is AST is equal to 1051.43. Only this equation is applicable for uh, under reinforced sections, under reinforced or a singly reinforced sections. Okay, so AST is equal to 0.5 fck divided by f5 into bracket 1 minus root of 1 minus 4.6 mu divided by fck bd square into bd okay you need to remember okay so this equation is only applicable for under reinforced or singly reinforced sections okay either this or this if if you find difficulty in finding uh, uh, the value of est using this equation okay you can easily go for this one better you go for this one okay even it is also both good okay you can use this equation right so in a sim both uh, equations from both equations we are getting same reinforcement area that is AST is equal to 1051.43 here also it is 1051.43 so in problem our intention is to find out determine the area of reinforcement area of reinforcement is nothing but value of AST so using these whatever the data given to you people using these values okay, easily okay easily we can find value of AST we are done here I think uh, you understood the problem just go through uh, once or if you are not able to understand okay, just once or uh, twice you repeat the video okay, you watch okay and if you have any queries comment in the um, just uh, uh, write a query in a comment box so that I can reply is it clear okay, thank you okay, and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, my channel for uh, upcoming uh, video notifications right thank you